Today I'd like to tie for you a gummy caddis flimph. The hook I have in the vise is a mustad caddis scud hook. You can use a regular scud hook, curved shank scud hook. This is a size 16. It's a smaller gap, but it's much bigger of a hook. I'm going to use black thread, and this is 8 aught thread. I'm going to put down a base of thread just to the end of that flat there. I'm going to take my gummy material on the market. This is called Squirmy Wormy. And I'm just going to catch the edge of that. I just want to catch a little bit, just enough to hold that thing down. Then I'm going to pull this. This material pulls ten times its normal length. They come five inches long and you can stretch this out to fifty inches. I'm going to take that down around the bend. And when I get to the end where I want to stop it, I'm going to put some wraps behind the material so I lock it into place. With the thread or else it will slide on you. Just a couple of wraps is sufficient. Bring your thread back up to the flat. And now we're going to wrap our gummy material and you can wrap this as tight as you'd like if you wrap it real tight you'll get a nice it'll start to be like a shiny body and if you wrap it loose you'll get a fat body it's a little hard on the uh, for the position of this hook you can reposition the hook if you'd like I'm gonna wrap this kind of a medium tightness and you bring that right up the top it has it actually gives little segmentations in there and when I reach the top I'm going to tie that off and I'm going to pull it tight when I tie it off so I can get it nice and secured there then I'm going to take the the material and pull it tight once again and wrap in front of it to lock it into position and really get right up to it hold it tight and trim away that excess now I'm going to take some dark hair's ear dubbing just a small pinch is all you need and wrap that. You don't have to make it too tight. You can let that be uh, the guard hairs stick out. I'm going to wrap that. And secure in front. You can pull the real long guard hairs out. Now I'm going to take a piece of the grocery bag this imitates the wings of a caddis that's laying on the surface really, really well. And I'm going to tie this in right on top, and this is about three-eighths of an inch. Secure that, and I'm going to remove the excess from the front. Now to cut this to length, fold it down the body and you want the wing to be about one and a half the length of the body. And cut it at an angle going back. And you'll have a nice double wing cut there. I'm going to take a CDC feather and I'm going to tie this in 
from the tip. And secure everything in the front. Remove the excess CDC from the front. And this is what's going to float the fly in the surface film. We're going to wrap that just like you do on all of the flimps. Stroke the feathers toward the back as you do. And when you get to the end of the feather, we're going to tie that off. I'm going to stroke everything towards the back. And tie that off. Now remove the excess. And we're going to tie off the head. If you have any of the CDCs that are longer than the others, you could just break them. But you like that that CDC having that those long ones too. That helps in the illusion that this fly is stuck in the surface film. You can flatten out the wings there a bit. If you notice during the caddis hatch, you almost have a uh, you get those still those stillborn ones or the caddis that are they're stuck in the film and they almost look like they have spent wings. I'm going to give it a quick three or four turn whip finish. Pull that tight. And we're going to give it some head cement and here we have a gummy caddis flimph hope that you learned something from this video hope you would subscribe to my channel please leave comments questions suggestions refer me to your friends and most of all I thank you very much for watching my videos